good morning to one and all today we are discussing the topic the next topic knapsack problem it's a very important concept to learn this concept coming to the knapsack problem we have a pro coming to the problem statement and algorithm and we have two techniques in zero by one knapsack problem that is the first one is by using a few least cost branch and bound technique and second one is a FIFO branch and brown technique. We have seen today class is what is a 0 by 1 knapsack problem by using a branch and bound technique. Already we have seen a previous classes a 0 by 1 knapsack problem by using greedy method and one more uh, dynamic programming and one more uh, uh, coming this backtracking. Already we seen a knapsack problem. What is a knapsack problem? We get, we get, we get the problem statement also already now coming to the 0 by 1 knapsack problem by using a branch and bound technique what is the problem statement what are those concepts we are using now what are the concepts include in that one we have seen now now let us discuss the problem statement here listen carefully all of you what is the problem statement the 0 by 1 knapsack problem states that there are n objects and capacity of and capacity of knapsack is m then select some objects to fill the knapsack in such a way that it should not exceed the capacity of knapsack and maximum profit can be earned the nap the knapsack problem is a minimization problem that means what is the what is the concept of what is the concept of uh, uh, 0 by 1 knapsack problem in the sense uh, that means uh, listen carefully what I am saying here uh, we know knapsack in the sense uh, that is a bag uh, in a bag we have uh, place uh, some num um, n number of objects uh, and we have place some profits uh, and uh, weights uh, and with capacity capability capacity with uh, capacity m uh, that is nothing but 0 by 1 knapsack problem what is the meaning of the 0 or 1 here uh, we have to consider one side 0 and we have to consider without zero without zero in the sense one that is the concept of zero by one knapsack problem there is in a knapsack we have some in a knapsack bag we have some n number of objects and we have to play some profits and we have to play some weights with the capacity m okay that is the main concept we have to learn in knapsack problem statement and we get here he is a maximum profit we have to earn here maximum profit can be earned the knapsack problem okay we we want to show here the what is the minimization problem we have to show here minimize profit we have to write down the notes also whatever i have discussed in the lecture notes so we we have we have we keep one notes so we keep one notes and then write the um, problem statement of knapsack problem running notes okay Okay, we, 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 we want to, we all of you must and should maintain uh, one uh, notes uh, for uh, DAS subject uh, uh, all of you write down the running notes also okay we have to understand the problems uh, and whatever I am saying the algorithm you can listen carefully okay coming the minimize profit minus summation of i is equal to 1 up to n p i x i p in the sense of profits how many number of profits we have seen now here and n, n in the sense number of number of knapsack uh, instance and how many we have to how many profits how many weights we have to take okay subject to summation of i is equal to 1 up to n w i x i w in the sense weights okay such that summation of w i x i less than or equal to m m in the sense a capacity capacity kante weights and maybe allowed less than or equal to capacity m and x i is equal to 0 or one where one le where where one less than or equal to i less than or equal to n we know zero by one one side we have to consider zero and another side we have to consider without zero in the sense of one okay knapsack we have to place some n number of objects with profits and weights okay the branch and brown strategy for zero by one knapsack problem using fixed triple size formulation coming to the concept of zero by one knapsack problem here by using a fixed tuple size formulation what is the meaning of the fixed tuple size formulation in the sense we have seen in a fixed tuple size formulation tree is nothing but 
ट्री ओन द लीफ नोट आर सोल्यूशन स्टेट वाट मै ई हेव टू से इन फिस्ड ट्रिपल सैज फार्मुलेशन ट्री ओन द लीफ नोट आर ओन द लीफ नोट आर सोल्यूशन स्टेट लीफ नोट अंटेवर उ कदा नोट स्टेट बेस्ट ड्रा चुनाव अभी पासीबल पार्स उ लास्ट उ कॉस्टे लीफ नोट वाट मन सोल्यूशन स्टेट मन वी हाव टू कंसीडर ओके वी हाव टू डिजन सम स्टेट बेस्ट अंड कंप्यूट सी कैप आफ् डाट इन देंस से, इन देंस अंड यू कैप आफ् डाट वेर सी कैप आफ् एक्स इन देंस वाट इट रिप्रजेंट द अप्रॉक्सीमेट कास्ट वाट इट रिप्रजेंट द अप्रॉक्सीमेट कास्ट यूज फर् कंप्यूटिंग द लीस्ट कास्ट सी ऑफ एक्स ओके अंड क्लीयरली कमिंग टू द नैक्स्ट यू आफ एक्स इन देंस इट डिट्स द अर् बउंड वी नो अर् बउंड ईज यूज kill those nodes in the state space tree which cannot lead to the answer node we know already we have two types of bonds so one is lower bound and second one is upper bound lower bound it indicates the letter c cap of dot and u cap of and u of dot is nothing but upper bound where c cap of x represents the approximate cost used for uh, computing the least cost okay and coming to the u of x denotes the upper bound we know upper bound is used to kill those nodes in the state space History, which cannot leads to the answer node okay coming to the algorithm for uh, um computing c cap of x and u of x c cap of x in the sense lower bound and u of x in the sense upper bound is as given below look at these algorithms otherwise you can't understand uh, the concepts of uh, lower bound and upper bound listen carefully algorithm let us take away one about the name lower bound c underscore bound we have given some uh, take uh, some uh, assumption uh, total profit comma total underscore weight comma k what is the total profit it denotes the correct total profit and coming to the total weight it denotes the current total weight and coming to the k what is the k k is the index of last removed object what my k in the sense index it's index of last whatever we have to remove the object that is the last removed object we have to represent the letter k okay w of i it represents the weight of object i and p of i represents the profit of object i and coming to the m we know already i say capacity m is the weight capacity of uh, knapsack uh, let us we have to assign the profit total underscore profit semicolon and weight colon is assigned to total underscore weight and we have to check the condition for in for loop uh, i is equal to k plus 1 we have to index of last removed object increment to 1 up to uh, up to n in the n in the sense knapsack instance how many weights or how many objects we have do we have we have to perform the do operation and then weight is assigned to weight increment to weight is uh, weight is added to weight of the object i on uh, next we have to write down the condition if weight is less than m then profit is equal to profit plus profit of the object i and else if the condition is not condition is else kakapothe written we have to statement the what we have to return profit plus 1 minus weight minus m divided by weight of the object i into profit of uh, i okay and then return the profit statement this is the concept of uh, lower bound and coming to the concept of algorithm upper bound total underscore profit comma total underscore weight comma k mm, comma m we know already profit and weight k is the index of uh, uh, last removed object and m is the capacity already we know we have to assign profit and we have to assign weight and we have to check the condition in for loop i is equal to k plus 1 to n due and if the condition is weight plus w of i less than or equal to m then we have to check the condition profit is equal to profit minus p of i and then we have to assign up weight also weight plus w of i in the sense weight of the object i and we have to return the profit and then close the brace this is nothing but the concept of upper bound lower bound we have to allow the fractions and upper bound we can't allow the uh, fractions okay understand and coming to the we have two problem we have in 0 by 1 knapsack problem we have two techniques least cost branch and bound solution and one more uh, fifo branch and bound solution fifo in the sense first in first out branch and bound solution first of all we have to discuss uh, in our topic uh, least cost branch and bound solution we have some of the steps we have to follow steps in the sense uh, we need to follow some algorithm steps uh, and then do the problem uh, ne- uh, otherwise we can't un- uh, we can't able to understand the problem first of all you need to understand the in 
clear cut way the steps okay listen carefully all of you it can be attained using a fixed tuple size formulation i already said what is the meaning of the fixed tuple size formulation it is a tree only the leaf nodes or resolution states okay the steps to be followed for least cost branch and bound solution or we have six steps listen carefully listen carefully first step draw state space tree you know state space tree ante nodes wise ga left sub tree and right sub tree laga mana draw chestune dani em antam ante state space tree antam it depends on the condition also okay and compute in the sense calculate c cap of dot in the sense lower bound we have to calculate and u u of dot in the sense what upper bound for each node we have to calculate lower bound and upper bound listen carefully and then coming to the third point you have to check the conditions okay we have to check the conditions if c cap of x is greater than upper kill node x otherwise in coming to the fourth step otherwise the minimum cost c cap of x becomes e node then generate children for e node ante lower bound kanna upper bound anedi ekkuga unte appudu mana em chestam aa node ni kill chestam lekapothe aa minimum cost anedi em avutundi it becomes e node ayi appudu children's ni generate చేస్తుంది ఈ నోట్ కి అంటే ఎక్స్‌పాండ్ చేస్తుంది అంటే లీస్ట్ కాస్ట్ సచ్ తెల్స్ విన్నర్ కదా లీస్ట్ కాస్ట్ సచ్ ఇస్ ఏ వన్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ సచ్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద నేమ్ ఇట్సెల్ఫ్ సేస్ ఇట్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ వాట్ మినిమం కాస్ట్ ఇట్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ మినిమం కాస్ట్ అండ్ దట్ టైం ఆ మినిమం కాస్ట్ ని బేస్ చేసుకొని మనం నోట్స్ ఏం చేస్తాము ఫర్దర్ గా ఎక్స్‌పాండ్ చేస్తాం దట్ ఇస్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్త్ పాయింట్ అండ్ థర్డ్ పాయింట్ ఓకే లాస్ట్ అండ్ ఫైనల్ పాయింట్ ఫిఫ్త్ పాయింట్ రిపీట్ స్టెప్ 3 అండ్ 4 అంటిల్ ఆల్ ద నోట్స్ గెట్ కవర్డ్ వి హావ్ టు repeat until when we have to repeat step 3 and step 4 all the notes get covered and last and final point the sixth point the minimum cost c cap of x becomes the answer node eppat varaku cheyali itla lower bound anedi its generate answer node generate chesanta varaku minimum cost answer node generate chesanta varaku itla ee oka steps ni follow avutu undali ట్రేస్ ద పాత్ ఆ పాత్ని మనం ట్రేస్ చేస్తూ ఉండాలి ఎలా ఇన్ బ్యాక్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ ట్రేస్ ద పాత్ ఇన్ బ్యాక్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ట్రేస్ ద పాత్ ఇన్ బ్యాక్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎక్స్ టు రూట్ ఎక్స్ అంటే ఆ పర్టిక్యులర్ నోడ్ నుంచి రూట్ నోడ్ నుంచి ఫ్రమ్ ఎక్స్ నుంచి రూట్ నోడ్ వరకు ఫర్ సొల్యూషన్ సబ్స్టెక్స్ వరకు వీ హ్యావ్ టు ట్రేస్ దట్ ఓకే ద మినిమం కాస్ సి క్యాప్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ద ఆన్సర్ నోడ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ట్రేస్ ద పాత్ ఇన్ బ్యాక్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ from x to root for solution subset okay understand what i am saying the concept up to now next we have seen the concept of 0 by 1 napsa problem by using least cost branch and bound okay thank you later we continue later we discuss the problem of 0 by 1 napsa problem by using least cost branch and bound technique later video we have to discuss okay listen carefully all of you okay thank you